Okay, guys. I've got a lot of questions and people requesting <clears throat> me to do a video on how I got my setup. So first off, you want to make sure that you downloaded iOS 14, the newest update, because it only works with the newest update because that's what it's for. It's for like the widgets and the app library and stuff. Okay, so how I got the color widget, which is in the middle of my screen with the battery percentage, the time, and the date is you are going to go to your app store and search color widget and then it's right there. Then you hit open and then you can pick from all these different colors and themes. Um, so choose the color that you like and what goes with your theme. And then you'll go over to where you want it. So you hold down on the screen and then you hit this plus sign and then you will click color widget and it has different sizes on what you can choose. Bless you, baby girl. My baby sneezed. <laughs> um, and then you click add widget and then it'll just add it to your home screen. Okay. Okay. And so how I got these picture widgets is same thing. You just go to your app store and then you're going to um, enter widget smith which is the one of the picture things that I use and the other one is photo widget so just whichever one you want to use um, I just use both and then you hit open and then you will go add small widget so it's right here and then you click this you click it again and then you go all the way down and you go to if you want to add a photo go to that and then it'll click what one you want. But what I found, um, so I took the photo that I wanted and then I created a new album in my phone and just um, did it that way. Cause I found if I didn't do that, it was like doing my favorites or my recents. Um, and I didn't want all of them. I just wanted a specific picture. So that's how I did that. And then again, how you would do that is you just hold down on your screen whoops <laughs> wait for the plus sign go to photo widget or widget smith um and then just click add widget and then it'll add it to your screen and then you can like move it around where you want it and that type of stuff okay and so how i got my icons like this is you're going to want to go to the shortcut app and then you hit this plus sign up here and add action. And then you type open app. So right here. And then you hit choose. And then you will just do whatever app you want to change. So in this, I'm going to do Instagram. And then you hit next. And you hit the name that you want it to be. So Instagram. And then you hit done. And then it, it's right here. So you click these three dots three dots again and then add a home screen in right here and then you go choose photo and you pick your photo and then you can crop it and get it to how you like it choose add and it's added to your home screen see and then of course how you would get it to where you want it is you would just place it in there and I do want to mention that this is a shortcut, um, so it's not going to take you directly to the app. It's going to take you to the shortcut app and then the app, but literally it takes two seconds, and I think it's worth it um, <clears throat> if you want to have cute icons like this. So I'll just show you what I mean. So that, like, is literally two seconds. Um, it doesn't bother me, and I honestly, I've gotten used to it. I don't really notice it anymore. So yes, this is how I did my whole setup. How I look up cute icons like this is I just go to Pinterest and I just type in cute Instagram logo pink or if you don't want logos, which I don't have logos on these ones, I just have pictures. You just search, um, what did I search before? Um, cute wallpapers and then you click that and then you just find which one you want your theme to go with and, and then you download it and then you do the steps that I just showed you. So I hope I made sense in this video. 
if you guys are confused or if you guys have any other questions, just please let me know and I will be gladly I will be glad to help you. Can't talk.